So that's the lock that locks the boom up right there. So I'm safe to get up under it. I'm gonna buy two services thing. Gonna blow it all out and blow the air filter out. Get ready for the spring. And I'm gonna let y'all watch me do it. Maybe y'all can see that pretty good. I'm gonna blow it off. Blow it off a little bit right there. And get her drain in here. I let her run for a while, got her almost up to temperature before I did this. Thing's supposed to hold nine quarts. That's what it holds. Let that run out. Cutting close on my bucket there. I did have a backup right there, just in case though. Back in, screw it back in there. Snug her down. She good, got that out of the way. We're gonna do fuel filter, oil filter. I'm gonna pull the air filters out, blow them out, and then blow the radiator out on it. Not gonna change the hydraulic oil filter today. So right here's the oil filter, engine oil filter. Just blow everything off so in case there's a anything loose you don't get down in there when I pull it off so I got a strap on here I hope there's enough room to screw this filter off without having to take that shield off right there is what I'm hoping but it may not be Got that power wire right there. I'll have to shove it up. Get it out of the way. Let me grab my pan over here. Stick it up under there. So one thing I don't like about filters when they're put in places. This in here is not going to be too bad because the oil is mainly going to run off this loader frame right here. So that's not too bad. But I can't stand stuff where filters are, uh, where they're up high and it's got to run down everything. I hate that. This won't be too bad right here. I'll take some brake cleaner once, I'm, once I get it swapped and spray it off. It'll be fun. All right, is there going to be enough room? Short bit been real close. Is it going to do it? Yes, sir. Good deal. Now I got a screen over. I'll put this filter on over a bucket. Put it face down and let it drain. So here's a new one. He's up in here. And 
wire right there is right in the way. I did oil the seal up on it too, by the way. I didn't show it, but I did. Now snug her up without denting the filter itself. Because I have, on some of our machines before, I have dented the filter outside just a little bit. And then within just a little bit of time, it'll spring a leak. So I'm just barely kind of... Okay, good. All right, we good. I fell in love with these funnels right here a long time ago. The clean tight funnels. This in here come from John Deere, but you can get them anywhere. Uh, Napa Mike, Napa Brent, give them the part number down below so they can get them from the Napa store. Cause y'all got them. I bet, I bet Napa Brent and Napa Mike both know that part number by heart. But I like them. You don't have to worry about Cleaning the funnel out with brake cleaner or nothing like that. Oh, this is gonna be that ain't gonna be too bad. I was gonna say this is gonna be fun with that loader sitting right there in the way. Which I could have took the loader off of it, but I did not. Like I said, this thing holds nine quarts, so it's a little over two gallons. And this is a uh two and a half. Yeah. Two and a half gallon jug. Now, I'm going to try to cheat this. I'm going to see if that thing holds that for me right there. Y'all may be fixing to get to watch me make a massive mess here. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, baby. Sure ought to be pretty close now. We're going to check her here. Let's see what she looks like. Well, he hid that thing down in there behind that daggum pipe. Of course, if the loader wasn't on here. It wouldn't be. You'd have a little bit more room. Here we go. Time I crank it up. It's a little over full. So I'm going to crank it up and it circulates through everything. Filter fills the filter up. I will uh, I'll check it again. Sure to be just right. So yeah, if you want a funnel like this, you can go to the Napa store. You can go down to Broxton, Georgia and see Napa Brent. <laughs> if you're down there or just fly down there or up there in uh, New Hampshire. I forget what town Napa Mike's in, but he's way up north up there. We'll crank her up now. Make sure oil pressure comes up. Look for any leaks. I hope this is not one of them that free flows because I don't have a clamp. Let me look at something here right quick first. I'm looking to see if I had a shut off right here on the tank. But it don't. Uh, maybe it don't. Maybe it won't free flow. We had some tractors way back a long time ago that would just free flow. And 
take the filter off of it. Hopefully this is not going to be the case. can't believe that they would do that and not put an inline shut off. I'm going to get me a couple of blocks and I'll clamp that line right there with a pair of vice grips and I'll stop that fuel. Give me just a second. All right, I got the vice grips on it now. I got a piece of cardboard on it. We'll see if that'll hold it back. Right there. There you go. It. Oh, dang, that thing's going to seat it back on there. That don't seal all. I think that's, yeah, that's got it shut off now. Man, I don't know about y'all. 90 weight oil is the worst thing you can get on you. In my opinion, some of that gear oil. And then I hate diesel fuel. That's why I'm wearing the hand panties. The one good thing, let me make sure, yeah, it's recording. The one good thing about it free flowing is this right here. When I put this new filter on, all I gotta do is crack the bleed right here on it and just let it fill up itself. And got, I don't have to pump it or nothing. And it'll, when it gets all over the top, shut it and she's done. So that's a good thing about it. It's got a seal right there too, where you can drain the water out of the bowl you know fuel whatever you whatever down in the bowl right there if you want to quick drain it so change it make sure you change it too and then there's where that one that seal goes just go ahead and screw it back on the filter right there i'll finish snugging it on down check it right first I had wet that other one, but I had not wet that one right there. So she's wet now. Have a mic that filters five three six six nine eight. Give us a crossover on it there. Nap a mic, bet you know it by heart, or nap a brand, either one of y'all. Spit it out. Okay, break it loose, make sure it's getting loose. 
Alright. Alright. Let her fill up. Don't fall in the pan. Watch it not flow now that I Oh yeah, there it is. Well I didn't take but a second. What well, Joker got some flow coming through it, man. At least I had to pump nothing. Usually before I pump any one of them, like on our machines, what I'll do is I'll take the filter over to the uh, to the service truck and go ahead and pre-fill it. And then when I put it on there, it's full and there's no, ain't got to do nothing. Except just stick it on there and crank it up. And I always like to, once I change the oil, I do the oil first and then crank it. Now we're going to see if she'll crank. Is she going to spit or sputter or what's she going to do here? Let's see. Suck the filter dry. That's crazy, that thing. How it, uh, free flowing. And then it's going to suck the filter dry. Okay. All right, we'll do it this way then. to change the oil first just in case you have to do that open it wide open to crank it and uh it ain't gonna hurt nothing because the oil's already circulated through it Let's see what this hair filter looks like Never seen one like that that you have to twist it and it's got a screw to it that's different Stick the inner back up in there. Looks good. Joker seals good too. I like the fit on that thing. I'm gonna clean this out of this, and it don't look bad. 
so you can see it right there just got a little bit of dust right there so what I'll do I'll open the big door down there I'll blow from the inside out on it clean it out clean it. Wasn't near as bad as I thought it was that, that, with all the dust I ran in last year. Oh, it's just got rubber strapped to hold that thing on there. Some holes on it now there. Alright. Now I'm gonna crank it up and I'm gonna blow through the radiator right there with it running. So we get all that stuff out of it. That's it, man. Got her serviced. Ready for the summer. Because it's not going to be long. She'll be getting a dog run out of her. I've also got to service my lawnmower, my Zero Turn John Deere. I'll make a video of that and let y'all watch that too. So, appreciate y'all joining along with me in doing that. I like that tractor. They're very, very uh, happy with it still. Uh, I'm glad. Glad I I got that one right there. It's got plenty of power. You know, it's not like my case. My next case was the next frame size larger than that tractor right there. So if you like my stuff, please subscribe to me. You can find all my stuff down below in a clickable link. It'll take you right to my website, cottontop3.com. And if you have any questions about camera gear, microphones, any of that stuff, uh, like that it, there's an Amazon link there you can click it too so we'll catch y'all later later taters oh, one more thing love these lights I should have done that a long time ago man they're big big difference a lot more light a lot more user-friendly in here too